Yo, what up, what up, fam? My name is Wilson. Welcome to the channel where I talk about all things food delivery. Well, normally that's what I talk about, uh, but in this video, I'm doing something a little different. I'm gonna take this uh, Honda ADV 160 that I just got like a week ago, a week and a few days up camping. I just impulsively decided, hey, you know what? Tell my girlfriend, hey, let's pack, let's pack our shit. Let's go to, let's go camp for one day. Let's test out this bike, see if we can handle a trip up to the mountain. So we uh, just, it's Saturday right now. It's what, four o'clock in the afternoon. Just took all the essentials in the bike. We try to pack as light as possible, like as if we were backpacking. And uh, yeah, just started going. going. We're gonna do just one night. We're gonna go to Buck, Buckhound, Buckhorn Campground, which is the first come, first serve campground i hope we can get there and get at least a campground there is some street closures so i'm hoping because of the closures people are discouraged of going you got to kind of go all around it's like a big detour but i'm excited so far so good i know she's going to be struggling a little bit up the hill especially when we go buy uh, all the food and drinks so we'll try to still pack as light as possible but yeah can't wait to show you guys a setup let's go so the first pit stop we're gonna hit a route and uh just go in there and do some shopping just get some stuff we're gonna need for uh, for dinner and uh, we want to cook up some breakfast too oh and i'm recording my girlfriend's asking what interrupt the video damn kick her out the bike just for that we're gonna do some grocery shopping i bought an extra bag just so i can put here and that's where i'm gonna put all the heavy stuff which is going to be probably some firewood and drinks maybe i might skip the firewood because they might actually have it up there but well i don't know i guess we'll have to flip a coin on that right now if we're almost at this route but yeah so so it's like a one hour drive to the route and it's gonna be another hour to the campground. We're gonna go up on those mountains you see right there. Angeles National Forest. We're gonna go in there. A lot of elevation, a lot of climbing. That's gonna be a very big test for this scooter. With two people on it, fully loaded. So it's 160 cc is gonna, definitely gonna be uh, put to a test. Either we have a successful camp trip or uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna destroy my engine on the first week of having it good thing she's got warranty baby but i'm sure she'll be all right it feels good when we're going up slow like small hills like it doesn't it struggles a bit but once it starts getting up to speed it's just the momentum and the power it just goes but on those streets people do tend to go kind of fast so hopefully uh, i don't know i can keep up with the traffic all that stuff we're gonna find out in a bit here's a quick test there's a hill right here pretty steep i got a i got some momentum going full throttle 32 32 32 32 miles an hour all right it was able to stay at 32 miles an hour on <laughs> that steep incline i don't think we're gonna hit hills that steep but a uh, good test all right so we just got off the main street and we're heading up angeles national forest so there's uh there, the closures aren't there anymore so that means that we won't have to take the detour but that could mean that these campgrounds may be packed. Damn, we got a backup plan though. In case Buckhorn is full, we can always go to Chilao, which is uh, nearby. Probably like a 15 minute drive back back towards this way. I don't know, I'm hoping that the roads are open and Google isn't tripping. But Google's pretty accurate. Like it'll, it'll take me around if there is a blockage or a closure or anything like that. So my fingers crossed that, uh, fingers crossed that it's actually open like it says it is. So I won't have to like go backwards and go take the detour. And also since I'm up here, I don't have service. So I can't uh, use navigation because there's no internet. So I'll have to, I'll have to go to uh, rely on old, old uh, go with old reliable memory. Sure, it wouldn't be too hard. And there's also signs and shit like that. So I don't get lost, figure it out. It's handling pretty well up the hill, up the uphill. I'm doing 44 miles an hour, 45. It's pretty steady speed for uphill with all these curvatures. It's not as steep right now. It was it was a little steeper back there. I was doing like 35. Plus, and it says you're only supposed to do 25 miles an hour here. All right. What I do, what I don't want is I don't want to hold a bunch of cars up. I can always pull off to the side of it. There's a lot of cars uh, end up being behind me. Right now, I only have one car, so I'm good. Just past the sign that says 3,000 feet elevation. Uh, we're coming from South LA. South LA is below sea level. 
just slightly over below sea level from if i'm not mistaken but see one car there was one car behind us yeah but so we've we've climbed 3,000 feet already we'll see I, I do not know how much elevation the buckhorn is but it's literally climbing almost the whole way there's some parts that go back down and it starts climbing a little steeper near buckhorn there's basically ski resorts so there's, there's people who ski there during the winter it's that hot all right we passed our, our back of campground chill out we're like less than 15 minutes away from Buckhorn. This is a popular spot where motorcycles meet up or they ride up to this and they go back. My ass is hurting already <laughs> for sitting for so long. I think it's the awkward position that I'm in. Ooh, we're almost there. There's a bunch of campgrounds up here, but we want to go to the, the best one in my opinion. And you know what? This is the time that it gets uh, most popular. Summit Camp Valores. It feels cool up here. It's not that hot. It's 84 degrees. It was in the 90s earlier down there. Wasn't there a famous trail that passed through here? There's this trail. I think it comes all the way from Mexico and it passes through here. Might have passed it. It's a hiking trail. You walk the whole thing. It connects from Mexico all the way to Canada. This is the Pacific Coast Trail. It goes all right here and it continues on somewhere over here. I think right here. Yep. Oh yeah, I see it goes up there yep pacific coast trail i'm gonna look it up on google maps later see how long that trail is check out these sports cars damn they got all three colors they got the television pixel colors rbg all right something like that red green no wait red green yellow something like that with those three you can make all the colors all right buckhorn is coming up we've made it here she is they're gonna make a sharp right a left i mean Woo, we made it. Finally, two, two and a half hours later, we're here. Then it got speed bumps. That's right. And fingers crossed that we get a campground. It looks empty. Yeah, right. What's dope about this campground is you get off the road and you start driving downward and it just gets very foresty. It's just, you see a bunch of greenery. It's like a whole different world. Two and a half hours away from home. Check it out. Doesn't even feel like Los Angeles anymore. Feels like Jurassic Park now. Whoa look at that look at that beauty it's so peaceful down here there's also some rivers that cut through the campground if we're lucky enough we'll be able to get a campground near one we could just hear the stream all night rattlesnake caution all right jenny start looking start looking all right look we have one right here cool all right well at least we know there's one here let's keep looking they have bear canisters as well so uh we could put our food away i smell the carne asada damn they got a whole swing set here they use parking go this way huh what that's the exit no yeah that's how you exit there's more campgrounds this way let me know if you see any well this is his campground there's like three more this way and that's it we're gonna have to get that one in the beginning yep they're all full we're gonna have to go back damn we're gonna have to get that one in the be in the entrance that's the only one available all right we we made it uh we found a campground it was literally the first one that we saw and it's like a wheelchair a wheelchair accessible one so it doesn't have any any paper that it's taken Ooh, there's another one over there oh let me see if the other one's available too soon as i was uh, explaining that we only this was the last one available bam we found one right here right next to the restroom but it's more secluded check it out the picnic tables down there this is way better you actually get the forest vibe experience because it's between all the trees all right we're gonna do it right here all right y'all this is where we're gonna camp at i just want to show you guys the setup real quick backpack tools food and then heavy stuff in here i'll show you guys what's in the backpack later because i'm just gonna carry it down there and then i'm gonna show you guys what's in here all right so this is what i have in here got my hat which i'm gonna put on right now once i take the helmet off small grill tent chair and some lights yes this is a grill i'm gonna show you guys this thing's pretty cool all right that's it i'm gonna take this down there take this down there probably take a couple trips then i'll show you guys what i have in the bags all right y'all so let's start with the big bag we got a hat the crocs to walk around the campfire i'll leave this here sandals we got eggs run out of space from the, of the food one so and so they could be safe wet wipes two sleeping bags and then these are the ones we use for backpacking these are going to be our sleeping pads for tonight got two of them one each got some plastic bags from rouse this is where we went grocery shopping we're going to use this as trash bags 
what else sleeping pillow thermal in case it gets cold another sleeping pillow shorts i'm gonna put this on right now it's hot there's a platypus there's a river here so we can get water with this and filter it out and drink it a pot i almost didn't bring this but we got eggs so we're gonna need one i was just gonna use a grill but because we got eggs i brought this and the hell is this oh yeah charcoal i brought charcoal for that small grill which i'll show you guys later and that's it that's everything that was in this big old backpack and then the other one is just food really but uh i'll post that later and that's it i think that's it is that everything tools chair and this is a small grill which i'll pop out later and then the food ice 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 baby okay, let me roll everything out right here carne asada marinated so we don't have to deal with it fruit gotta grow some onion a must shrimp quick snack right now some block it was two bucks i was like all right let's get it i'm gonna grow some corn bacon wrap jalapenos with cream cheese what is this zucchini sliced up already and last but not least the hot italians sausages for breakfast now this i'm gonna put down there for some bubbly water no alcohol so we're gonna substitute it with something all right cool that's it we're all set well not set but it is a entire setup <clears throat> all right i'm on a mission to find the billboard or the big sign where you get your uh, envelope you gotta fill it out and put what campsite you're in and then uh drop the money in there i thought it was gonna be up there but i remember it being down here somewhere so i'm on a mission to go find it all right success so you get the envelope you get one copy for your oh that thing flew out where'd it go one's for the car and i lost it there it is this one you stick to your vehicle which i put on it flew out this one goes on the little pole here the two by four or the four by four with your campsite number and the other envelope you put the cash in there 12 bucks i just threw a 20 in there keep the change buckhorn park camp park campground uh, let me go back and chill man i'm gonna chill for a bit probably won't film for a while see you guys in a bit in a bit yeah thankfully i got the correct camp number i almost forgot the number all right so park here lock steering wheel use this for bike and then this one proof of payment fee this goes here wow can't do nothing right there done i almost forgot okay here i have a bunch of core pepper and salt i don't even think we're gonna need it because i got the carne asada seasoned hand sanitizer a bunch of cords and then a headlamp more organized everything right now just and then here here's another important one that i forgot to mention kitchen utensils okay. spoons forks uh Two plate cutting board knife that's it all right i'm gonna set up this grill this bigfoot bush bushcraft this is a 10 inch one i got the 20 by 20 one too probably fits in the backpack i gotta think about it fire plugs we're gonna use this later makes the job easier with the charcoal grill to keep the charcoal from going all the way to the bottom this is the platform hopefully does it come out yeah platform and the grill you just secure it bam bam this goes here Put the charcoal here or wood or whatever and then this goes on top so you can put three levels of height medium low depending on where your fire is at Boom. got a grill this is how you do it look in case you uh, shit i forgot all right so first you break these oh by the way guys this is a fire plug this is to get a fire started we're gonna put this below the charcoal so you snap it wham snap it both ways and then you gotta like twist it until it snaps it's all fluffy do you do the liquids coming out basically the goal is to get this to rip up like that it's one we're gonna do four of them like that all right let me start this up kaboom oh damn <laughs> nice i didn't expect that all right so put it up so it could breathe up here's big ass piece damn we got a fire all right enough charcoal for now and that's too much charcoal this piece, this piece is too big i right, check it out then i gotta change the battery but we got a fire going it's ready hold it now it's gonna put the grill bang that's cool right? now let's put it low huh so it can burn real good right there oh yeah we got the carne asada on the grill big ass piece there's another one so we're gonna do two one there's a little piece here one big one here number two bang cook the corn already 
some zucchini, onion. That one's not even cooked yet. Almost. Looking good. We are done cooking, kind of. Still got this to go. The jalapeno is uh, wrapped in bacon. And what is that? Pinchy. Pinchy. We got the carne asada, some pepper, and salt. We're done. Look at that. It's getting dark, so I got a little light set up. Since there's no trees nearby, improvise. So he's got two sticks from that stack of tree they cut down. Let's put them right here. One and two. Now we got light. I'm trying to get a little of the fire going. I'm still hungry. Check it out. A little fire bender. What up, what up guys? Good morning. It is 5.31. 5.31 in the morning. And uh, everyone's asleep. I can hear our neighbors snoring. And uh, I can hear the creek a little bit. Still kind of dark. I was looking at my GoPro. It doesn't look too bright, but it's going to be bright in like 30 minutes. I just came up here to the bear canister to take out the food and I'm gonna get a little fire started cook the rest of the breakfast what was our plane so loud it's because everything is quiet all right well I'm gonna get started on the little fire cook some breakfast we got eggs we got sausages I think we got some jalapenos still whatever we got I'm gonna cook and I'm gonna use the restroom real quick unload some of this weight you know here's a Honda ADV with nothing on it she's just chilling right here weighs nothing just uh 200 300 pounds later on we're gonna stack everything back on her i'll film the video when i pack everything up all right you guys got the stove out i got sausage links zucchini eggs that's it that's all i have so i'm, I'm gonna get started with these fire fire starters so gonna put this at the bottom and then put the charcoal on top i'm gonna get started with this once i get the fire going pop everything in the grill sun's coming out already it was quick i went to take a dump it was dark when i came out feels like this so it's getting bright really fast just button this flannel up. all right found an easier way of doing this I just drop you're supposed to crack these and then spin them process takes too long so I just slice this and spread this out that's it fast this is what you're supposed to do one let's do all of them fire starters fire starters do such a good job to get the fire started but now I gotta put charcoal in there without blocking it so there can still be air going in which is the tricky part because I did this yesterday and I basically drowned the fire to where there was no more air going in and that shut it off yeah it's a big piece of charcoal I don't know that's a good idea so you gotta leave like air no air vents there we go that's how you do it so there's still it can still breathe I should be fine for now all right looks good so we got the grill somewhat going I feel the heat no sizzle it's gonna be slow it's gonna be gradual all right we're all packed up ready to go I uh didn't get a chance to or I forgot more more accurately to uh, record a video of packing out but pretty simple I put all the heavy stuff underneath the seat I put my uh, grill there tent and then some waters that I have which I'm gonna get one right now I'm pretty thirsty and uh, I put all the light stuff in the backpack like the sleeping bag the sleeping pads hat like kitchens like the utensils just all the lightest stuff which is kind of the biggest stuff and with camping like the big stuff is usually tends to be light so I packed back I packed light in the back and uh, I actually forgot to record this so I went up this already once I came back around I wanted to get I wanted to record the exit just because of how nice it is this is the exit so you're going up the hill up to the street so yeah, I'm gonna wrap up the the video there's a nice spot up here where I want to take a picture for the thumbnail and then wrap it up but uh, yeah I'm getting a little bit more practice documenting these camping uh, adventures I still got to work on some things and get some different equipment different cameras and stuff like that other than that check this check this view out here just like there was a fire here before where the forest is very resilient I think it'll come back no matter what oh man I skipped that spot <laughs> where I wanted to take the thumbnail damn all right I'll find another spot all right guys well thanks for watching I'll catch you guys on the next adventure video peace